Most people choose between Blender and Unreal Engine the wrong way. They ask, which one is better? But that's the wrong question. The real question is, which one fits your personality? Because I've seen this happen over and over. The same two tools. One person thrives, the other burns out completely. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which side of this battle you belong on and why choosing wrong will cost you years. In the next few minutes, I'll show you the core difference between Blender and Unreal Engine, the personality type that dominates in each tool, and how to choose the one that matches how your brain actually works. No hype, no brand loyalty, just clarity. Most people think Blender and Unreal just do different jobs. That's not the biggest difference. The real difference is they train your brain in completely opposite ways. And that changes what kind of creator you become. Let's break it down. Here's the simplest way to understand it. Blender turns you into a builder. Unreal Engine turns you into a director. With Blender, you create the world piece by piece. Model it, texture it, light it, animate it, render it. You touch everything. With Unreal Engine, you assemble worlds. You control cameras, lighting, physics, gameplay logic in real time. You direct the action instead of building every brick. One rewards patience and detail. The other rewards vision and control. And depending on your personality, one of these will feel natural and the other will feel miserable. One of these tools is perfect for solo creators. The other thrives in team environments. If you choose the wrong one, you'll feel constantly stuck. Let's talk about that. You're probably a blender person if you enjoy working alone for long hours. You like perfecting small details. You don't mind slow progress at first. You enjoy problem solving quietly. You like full creative control. You don't need instant feedback. You're okay grinding in silence. Blender rewards this personality because you build everything from scratch. Every improvement is earned slowly. But when you get good, you can create anything. Blender is for people who love the craft itself, not just the result. But this personality would struggle badly in Unreal. You are probably an Unreal person if you like seeing results instantly. You get bored with slow technical steps. You think in scenes and environments. You like experimentation over perfection. You enjoy teamwork and fast feedback. Unreal rewards speed, iteration, real-time visuals, big picture thinking. You move cameras, trigger lights, simulate physics instantly. See final level graphics immediately. Unreal is for people who thrive on momentum. But there's a dark side most beginners don't realize. To most beginners, one of these tools feels much easier in the first few months. But that early comfort can destroy your long-term growth if you pick wrong. Let's expose it. Unreal feels easier at first because you work with ready-made assets. Lighting looks cinematic instantly. You see beautiful results fast. But the danger is, you can start directing before you truly understand creation. Blender feels harder at first because you must understand geometry, materials, lighting, and rendering deeply. But the reward is, you gain true creative independence. So here's the brutal psychological truth. Unreal boosts confidence fast. Blender builds confidence slow but permanent. Now let's talk about money. Here's the truth no one likes to hear. Both Blender and Unreal make money, but in different personality-driven markets, Blender makes money in freelancing, asset creation, YouTube and content creation, product visualization, indie games, solo projects. Unreal makes money in game development studios, virtual production, film previs, architecture visualization, live events and simulations. Large teams. If you hate working in teams, Unreal will burn you out. If you hate slow, solo grinding, Blender will frustrate you. This is not a software decision. It's a personality decision. Here's the truth most creators avoid. You will succeed faster with the tool that matches how your brain enjoys working, not the one that looks cooler online. Blender rewards. Patience. Craft. Precision. Long focus. Unreal rewards. Speed. Vision, collaboration, big picture thinking. Pick the wrong one, and you fight yourself every day. Pick the right one, 
and the grind feels natural. Now here's what the highest level artists quietly do. They don't choose one. They combine both. So the real question becomes, when should you add Unreal after Blender? When does learning both actually multiply your income? And what career paths need both in 2026? That's what I'm breaking down next. If this video finally helped you understand which tool truly fits you, subscribe. I break down real 3D careers, not software hype. Comment Blender if you're a solo builder. Unreal if you're a real-time director. See you in the next one.